Hey guys, hope you've all good. Right, we have a clean engine block. Um, just going through everything now, uh, we've got a collection of new studs, nuts and washers. So I'm gonna go through this now and replace what's rough. So it all looks nice and fresh. From all the sticky stuff off the tape. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, all the uh, all the bits that we can see on the engine. That's still not very good. Let me get a cloth on that. Cloth and a bit of a bit of brake cleaner. Sticky residue off the t from the tape. I'm going to go through and replace everything that looked rough, which will make this engine look. Uh, I don't want to sound like a bragging, really. Better than new, because as you know, the surfaces on these are not the best. Although this wasn't too bad, what I have done on literally every engine you get every Enfield engine I must say you get parts that are textured and parts that are polished it's like they've just shown it the polishing mop and just got bits that they can get in at and I think it looks a bit um, a bit rough even when you clean them up and leave them like that you know you got highlighted bits polished and then in the sort of the difficult bits that they couldn't get into is all textured so the easiest thing there is to go through and texture the lot as you can see I've done that with the uh, die grinder deburrer whatever you want to call it I just lightly go over the surface let the tool skip across the surface and it gets a texture back in there and uh, definitely looks a lot better oh, look at all this tape Hitchcock's Wrap them in newspaper, then put the tape around them. <laughs> Please. All right, sort the correct nuts out. So yeah, we've got all new studs and new nuts to go around everything. get them even as well so you haven't got uh, a bit of extra stuff popping out more so on one side that's about right we'll just get them all in for now then I can nip them up later on right we've got a few fixings in a uh, couple more bits now to get to uh, get it dressed up nicely we've got the filler neck here I'm gonna get that polished up I think so Go over to the mop and sort that out. We'll bite into it first with a bit of fine scotch bright. <laughs> right, that's got the surface grime off. Give this one a go. Still a little bit warm, that is. There we go. There we are.
Right. And we have a new cap. Where's the stomach? There it is. Just to finish it off. How about that? There we go. That's annoying. The oil's upside down. Will that go on? A, well, let me put it on a different way. There we go. That's better. It's starting to look nice and fresh. Right, moving forward, we've got the top studs in here now. They're all nice and clean, obviously, so they're new. Uh, now, I'm going to go for the housing, for the timing. So, let me think. Yeah, we've got a new gasket. But I'm going to get this on, and then I'm going to try and trim that back. So we can't see it. So I'm going to put the tiniest, tiniest smear of sealer on it if it comes out oh there we go i want to try and get it so it doesn't ooze out the sides Right, I've just had to quickly spin that round. For some reason, I thought the studs were side by side. They're not, the top to bottom, bottom to top. Plus, it's a little bit annoying because I've tried that. So we've got three fixings this end. I've tried that every way possible. And this sits slightly off to one side because uh, that, that's quite annoying. So it's not straight, and I have tried it every way. Can't even re-drill it because of how the casting is. Or else I would be re-drilling it and tapping it. So I've got it sitting level. But for some reason, that is not to be. But yeah, as you can see, we are not level. Hmm. Never mind. There is absolutely nothing I can do about that. I wonder why that is. I wonder if it's had a different housing fitted at some point. And it, that's the reason why it's not marrying up to have this level. I may look into that, but what do you do? You, you've got to stop somewhere, haven't you? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's on, it's all sealed up, it's tight. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I, I guess it's not the end of the world. Ah. It's looking good though right now for the breather so with this being an earlier model this is bolt on on the later ones it's all part of the casting and the later ones i believe if i remember right don't have these fins 
So this is actually a little bit nicer being an earlier one. So we've got this here, which will give a bit of a polish. And it's getting extremely hot in this shed. <laughs> so this might be the last job on this video. All right, gasket on. Screws at the ready. That should look all right there. I actually like that. I much prefer this than uh, the later ones where it's a part of the cast in here. It just looks a bit better. See if we can get all the screws to be level. I bet I can't. Oh, not quite. They're all about doing the same thing. It would have been nice if I could have got them parallel. Anyhow, I think that looks all right. Apart from that. <laughs> I say absolutely nothing I can do about it. Just, uh, the screws go into that casting lug there. Without major surgery and probably hours of work, I think we'll just have to live with that. We've also got the new breather pipe for it. Thing what I'll do is probably get that on a P clip off one of these studs here just to hold it down like so. We get in there. There we go, getting a lot more presentable now. Got a couple of bolts, nuts I should say, to swap out at the bottom here, although you can't see them when the uh, inner primary case has gone on, but we'll still swap them out. It's nice and bright now, clean and fresh. Each little bit is a little bit of improvement. I'm not sure about this cover yet. I haven't... Uh, made up my mind about that I might polish it up a bit better and see how it goes Get a good wash out in there and we can continue putting it all together that'll do for this video uh, I'm gonna go and edit this what you're watching now and hopefully get on with the gearbox later on today it's absolutely cooking in here this sheds currently sitting at 35 so it's slightly uncomfortable so I'm gonna go and do this video and then come back in when it's a bit cooler and then I'm gonna pull the gearbox apart as you can see it's it's getting there now each little bit it's improving and starting to look the part i'm also waiting for the barrel which is being coated so we can then build the top end up all the cylinder heads all cleaned up that's having new valve guides in and stuff and springs and whatever else it needs so all that will be tip top and should be too long before this engine is back together in one piece and hopefully it's nicely timed with the frame being done and then we can really start leaping forward on this project and get it finished anyway another big thank you to everybody who's gone across to the to the new channel 
with anything goes outside the shed maybe we'll also do some things in here that's not bike related who knows like i say the channel is just about anything getting out and enjoying yourself and clearing the mind and things like that so i've just done a video on there of um I don't know what you call it, abseiling, repelling, or whatever you call it, coming down a bit of a cliff face, my very, very first go at it. It was slightly scary when you first go off the top, leaning backwards, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And that's in preparation for uh, another video that's coming up on that channel very, very soon. Anyway, thank you all for going over and subscribing. That is really appreciated. We'll see how it goes, see if it builds up, and just enjoy it. In the meantime, <clears throat> we'll obviously keep this channel going because this is the main one. And as you're probably aware of now, it's going to be 100% bikes in here getting built, getting repaired or anything, anything bikes. So, yeah, next is the gearbox stripped down and get all that sorted. And then we can get all that bolted back on, get all the primary on, which pretty much everything's clean, ready to go. As you can see, we've got all nuts, bolts, fixings, gaskets, everything. Everything's going to be brand new. We've got new piston rings, the lot. So it should be a really nice, sweet little engine. Although it, it was, it ran great, this did. Uh, it should be spot on. Anyway, I think that'll do. I'm going to go and cool down, do this video, and come back in and do the gearbox later. Cheers for watching, guys. Take care.